Hi everyone! Today I'm starting a new series called Hello Collidium, in which we're going to write the Collidium online game from scratch. Collidium started out as a simple desktop game I wrote some time ago, and when Scala.js came out, a compiler from Scala to JavaScript that lets you write web applications with Scala, I decided to port the desktop Collidium game into a web game, and so Collidium Online was born. Collidium Online is a good project to learn Scala.js with because it involves a lot of web technologies. Throughout this series, we're going to look at a variety of things you can do in Scala.js, such as interact with JSON and JavaScript libraries, use things like the HTML5 audio API, and a lot more. I've split up this series into individual parts, and in each part we're going to implement a part of this game, and by the end, we'll have the full Collidium Online game, which I can play right now. So just to give you an idea of how it looks, I'm going to go ahead and play this. So you shoot a ball, and the goal is to get it into the red circle. And you can draw in things like this to guide the ball in. And... I won! And there are multiple levels, where, which involve different obstacles. And so, to implement this, I have a Hello Collidium repository on GitHub. So what I've done is I've created branches for each step. So right now I only have the part one branch. And this acts as a starting point for implementing what's taught in part one. So when part two comes out, it'll the branch for part two will contain all of the code we implemented in part one. So to get started, you can clone this with git and check out to the part one branch. And I've done that. So, and I've imported the project into IntelliJ so we can get started. Now, first let's take a look at the project structure of this Hello Collidium. So in the root folder, I have my build.spt. This defines how to build the Scala.js project. I have index-fastopt and index full -opt. So in Scala.js, when you're building your project into JavaScript, you use either the fast up stage or the full up stage. Fast up is builds JavaScript in with optimizations that are quick to run. And so this is useful when you're developing and you want to quickly see changes um, in your code run in your in the browser. But when you're publishing out a website, you want to use the full opt. Full opt runs more advanced optimizations that produce smaller code than fast opt, but it takes more time to build. So now let's take a look at the code I've written for Hello Collidium. So this is the base code from the Scologist example app. So I have the hello collidium object, which extends js.js app. Extending this tells the Scala.js builder to run this when the project is loaded up in the browser. I have implemented the main method, which, which says what to run when this is loaded up. And what I'm doing right now is I'm creating a p element, inserting a strong inside it saying it works and appending this to the playground element. So let's go ahead and run this. First, I'm going to build the JavaScript based on these Scala source files. So I can do spt tilde fast opt js. So running this fast opt js command builds the fast optimized version of the JavaScript. And putting this tilde at the beginning tells spt to rerun this command whenever source file change source files change. So then whenever we make changes to our code, we won't have to rerun this command. So I can go ahead and run that. So it's going to compile 
and fast optimize. And now it's fast optimized. Now let's open up the index dash fast op dot html. And we can see here we're appending that it works. Now just to prove that this isn't just uh, that it works wasn't just part of the HTML and we're actually loading up the Scala.js, I'm gonna change this to it really works. So I can go here and I can reload and we can see it really works. So that's it for part one. We've now set up a basic Scala.js project and in the next video we're going to start working with the canvas and draw a few things. So see you then.